Hey guys, so I just upgraded my OnePlus 3T to Android 7 Nougat, so I want to do another speed test comparison between that and the LG V20. And since I've owned both these phones for over a month, I thought it was a good idea to give some updated impressions on them. And also give an overall thought of which one I think is worth buying. So let's go in and uh, start off by pairing both phones on at the same time. Now the LG V20 I think mostly known for having a second screen here at the top. Uh, also has a removable battery which is pretty rare now. With the OnePlus 3T I think mostly known for having really high end specs. Uh, especially internally Snapdragon 821, 6 gigabytes of RAM. And of course a very uh, low price point at only 440 So as you see there OnePlus first one to boot up. The LG V20 started at $700 but uh, at this point, it's closer to 600 but still much cheaper for the OnePlus, uh, OnePlus 3T. Alright, so heading on over to the app page and making sure everything's closed out. We're good. Alright guys, so first up we got Tumper on 2. And I'll adjust the screen brightness on the V20 uh, is a little bit dim. And you see there the V20 first one to boot up. Now with the OnePlus 3T, uh, I did rerun the Antutu benchmark. If you guys remember that it that was the highest uh, before this Android 7 Nougat, it was the highest for any Android phone. Now it's even higher. All right, CNN next. And as I always mentioned, this app can take a long time to load up. But you see here, first one to load up on OnePlus 3T. All right, next up, iFunny. 3T again here. You too. And 3T, calculator, clock, eBay, pretty close there, let me know what you guys think, uh, Asphalt 8, so another game. So as I mentioned, one plus 3T, very impressive internal specs, Snapdragon 821, 6GB RAM, the LG V20 by comparison has a Snapdragon 820 and three or four gigabytes of RAM. As you saw there, uh, one plus three T photos, three T, ESPN, and this app along with CNN very slow to load up. And guys, I know a lot of you guys mentioned this, but uh, in the future I will be doing different apps. Uh, maybe in the next few weeks I'll just change up the apps. But yeah, this app uh, has a lot of problems with it. No, just forget it. Uh, next up, settings. Alright, so here's that Intuitive benchmark that I ran. So you see here on the V20, uh, score of 150,000, of course, excellent score. But it cannot match with the OnePlus 3T. which has a score of 169,282. And that was just after one run. Uh, I, was, you know, I, I even had some use with it. Um, if you use the phone more, of course, the score is gonna go down a little bit. Uh, so that leads me to believe that with this, it can get over 170,000. Uh, before, I think it was on around 165,000 with Android Marshmallow. So very impressive there. Next, let's check out uh, well, I'll show you guys the fingerprint scanner. So the fingerprint scanner I much prefer on the 3T. Uh, it is located right here, the home button, very fast, very reliable, great placement. I'm not a big fan of it on the LGV20, it's right here on the back, but nonetheless, let's do it. Oops, I actually pressed that too fast, right, here we go. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. So for both, you just have to place your finger on it. Don't have to press down. One, two, three. But as you can see, much faster on a 3T. All right, so next up, let's do camera test. And it's just gonna uh, see how fast the cameras are. All right, now on the 3T, uh, actually both these phones very similar in terms of the uh, megapixels both are 16 although on the LG V20 you do have two cameras on the back so you see you have dual cameras uh, one of them is ultra wide angle lens all right so it's going to snap you a few pictures it's just going to be to see which is faster and I believe I have camera comparisons up on my channel you guys can check out if you want if I don't already I will definitely in the future as you see, the 3T, a little bit faster here. Not much of a difference, of course. Uh, let's just do a couple uh, a couple sites on Chrome. And let's just do NFL, because I'm watching an NFL game in the background here. And then we're going to do multitasking. All right, so NFL.com. Three T. Uh, let's do Falcons.com. So go into schedule. All right, so this time faster on the V20. And let's do one more. This will be a tiebreaker. Uh, let's do. We'll do cowboys.com. Actually, we'll do one last one after this IMDb. All right, dallascowboys.com. And you see there, 3T. All right, so three to one there for the um, 3T. All right, so next up, let's do multitasking. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's see if for these phones, uh, if they're gonna close out of the apps, make it restart or to start the title screen. All right, so you see here on the V20, it just goes straight to the app um, on the uh, OnePlus 3T starting up again from the beginning. So, might be better multitasking so far on the V20. CNN. All right, so Vantage Query there with the OnePlus 3T. Uh, it's the iFunny. 3T again there. YouTube. 3T. All right, let's do Asphalt 8. Well, yeah, and this one had an ad that loaded up on it, but let's see, next one. eBay. So 3T in there. So just in terms of more of the specs, the LG V20 has a slightly larger screen at 5.7 inches, also higher resolution. Uh, 513 ppi versus on one plus 3t 5.5 inches for one ppi of course on the lgv 20 you also have that second screen here at the top as you guys see here also acts as an always on display which in my opinion very underrated feature so yeah overall better quality on the uh v20 although i think the one plus 3t screen does get a lot brighter especially in the sunlight in terms of camera, so I mentioned rear facing 60 on both. Uh, on the LG V20, you do have that second camera on the back that acts as an uh, ultra wide, uh, ultra wide camera. And then in terms of front facing camera, so five megapixels on the V20, 16 on the 3T. Definitely prefer the 3T front facing camera there. Uh, in terms of storage, 64 gigabytes on both by default. 
The OnePlus 3T also has an option there for 128 gigabytes as well. Uh, although on the OnePlus 3T, no micro SD card support, on the LG V20 you do. Um, on the LG V20, so the battery is 3200 capacity versus 3400 on the OnePlus 3T. Um, although on the LG V20, it is removable. Now I will say in real world use, I think the OnePlus 3T battery is definitely better. Um, lasts me a lot longer than on the V20. Although in a couple years, it's probably not going to be the case. Uh, because of course on the V20, you can easily remove it and replace it with a new one. Um, the OnePlus 3T, better internal specs, Snapdragon 821, 6GB RAM versus Snapdragon 820 and 4 on the V20. Neither phone has waterproofing, uh, neither has front facing dual speakers. Uh, both, of course, fingerprint scanner, both have USB C at the bottom. Uh, as mentioned, on the uh, OnePlus 3T, is a lot cheaper starting at 440 for the 64 GB model on the LG V20, starting at around 600 now. Both on Android N. Um, and then, in terms of build quality, So mostly aluminum on these, um, of course on the LG V20 it is removable, pressing right here. So it's actually pretty high quality, but now some people might not like that, but I definitely do. Just have the option here of the, uh, of course of the battery there to remove it. So I think the V20 is also excellent in terms of sound quality, uh, just listening through headphones, excellent quality, also speakers very good as well, rather speaker, of course the van is there, I think is the screens in general, although on the 3T the screen does get brighter, uh, I do prefer the larger screen on the V20, also I do like having a secondary screen, also some of the advantages on the V20, uh, of course removal battery, micro SD card, but overall guys, I think that in terms of value, I do think that the OnePlus 3D is better value. So if you're a very uh, price conscious person, I would definitely go with the 3T. Um, oh yeah, also I think the V20, uh, I think the, do refer to rear facing camera on that, although the front facing is better on the OnePlus 3T. I definitely like having a second camera there for the ultra wide screen. Um, although honestly, neither of the cameras are really excellent, but they are pretty good. Um, so yeah guys, again, I think in terms of value, I mean, you guys saw here in this test, let me just go ahead and close out of all the apps. I mean, you guys saw on the test how uh, how fast the 3T is. All right, so there's only one app, I think, that the um, LG V20 beat the 3T in, and that was uh, Tump Run 2. Let's roll that up again. So yeah, same result this time. Um, but again, this was really the only app where the LG V20 excelled in. Pretty much everything else went to the 3T. So again, I think if your uh, top priority is more in speed, more in budget, I would definitely recommend the 3T. If you care a lot about some of those other features that the LG V20 has, again, you are paying an extra few hundred dollars, so there are definitely advantages like the screen, the secondary screen, uh, micro SD card support, removable battery, um, and a couple other things, you know, then go with the V20, but for most people, I would probably recommend the 3T just in terms of price uh, and speed. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.